What, in your view, is the the right of any uh, religious institution or culture to determine the the direction of others who are not of that faith or of that culture? Let me put one thing out here, and um, I'm here, of course, as a rabbi. Um, this state has many many different religions, different cultures, and I believe all of them are to be respected. As I said, I actually sometimes feel a little, little embarrassed when it comes to people coming and asking me to sign various uh, forms about government leg legislation on things, because let's face it, I mean, as a Jew, of course, I have certain values, because they've been brought down to me by my religion. But it is not for me to force my values on other people. <laughs> in fact, I think it's, uh, <laughs> it is incorrect to do that. Absolutely. So, so therefore, sometimes I'm very reticent <laughs> to even, even come to this committee, because it's a committee representing Western Australia. I'm giving my Jewish views here, brought down by my Jewish values. However, let me say one thing here, interestingly enough. From my experience as a rabbi over 30 years in Western Australia, much of what I've said regarding these values have been enforced by, have actually been reinforced by experiences I've had, I've had with this. And I'm going to, I'm going to share with you a few of those experiences in a minute. But, but I, I, I say that every culture should have its right to, unless of course it goes against the law of the land. That is different. If something actually goes against the law of the land, the law of the land prevails. We have a the law of the land is law. If we're living here, the law of the land is to be listened to. Unless it goes against the law of the land, people should be allowed to have their own cultures. I'm not forcing my mine on others. No, I just <laughs>